This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Swedish. Many people experience a trembling in their hands or their voice once in a while. When those tremors become more pronounced and they last longer, it can signify a more serious condition like essential tremors or Parkinson's. So how do you tell which one is affecting you and what types of treatments are available? Dr. Praveen Kamani, a board certified neurologist from Swedish, is here to explain. Thank you for helping us with this. Thanks for having um, me. You know, there's a lot of confusion. Let's start with Parkinson's what it is, kind of an overview, and what the symptoms are. Well, Parkinson's is a neurological disorder, and uh, it affects many parts of the brain and body. A lot of people with Parkinson's can have tremors, but a small minority may not have tremors. It can affect bodily functions such as digestion, mm -hmm. um, blood pressure regulation, bladder, and in the advanced stages, it can cause problems with memory and thinking. The overall problem with Parkinson's disease is a gradual decline in mobility and movement. So how is it different from essential tremors? It's a great question because both diseases cause tremors. They can be often confused with each other. While Parkinson's disease causes all of these changes that I just mentioned, mm -hmm. essential tremor causes primarily tremors in the hands, occasionally in the head, the voice, or the torso. And in very few people, as a tremor progresses, it can cause problems with balance. But overall, it does not affect any other bodily functions. So when somebody comes to you and they have tremors, how do you diagnostically distinguish between those two things? Again, great question, because truly the diagnostic distinction between these two diseases is done on a clinical basis. There is really no blood test that you can order up they will tell you if a person has Parkinson's disease or essential tremor. So a good history done by someone who is trained in um, treating essential tremor and Parkinson's disease and a good clinical examination are prerequisites to the diagnosis. Got it. Okay, well that sounds kind of scary for the patient, right? Because they're not going to know until things progress which one it likely is. Is that correct? Not necessarily. Even in the early stages, there are some really characteristic differences between essential tremor and Parkinson's disease. In fact, it becomes a little more difficult to distinguish between the two in the more advanced stages. Oh, interesting. So at the beginning, what are the differences? Well, one of the characteristic differences is if a person with Parkinson's disease has a tremor, they shake at rest when they're not doing anything. And in essential tremor, people shake when they're trying to do something like writing, eating, drinking, not to say that people with Parkinson's don't have those problems, but at the outset when you're examining the patient, the first thing you mm -hmm. look at is, is the tremor present when they're quiet and, and sitting still or is it only present when you're trying to do something with your hands? That is super interesting. So what is the treatment protocol? Very different for both these diseases because what causes Parkinson's is very different from what causes essential tremor. The exact cause is being researched. In Parkinson's disease, there is a fundamental problem with the production of a chemical signal called dopamine. And dopamine is really critical for normal movement. The basic treatment, the first line treatment for Parkinson's disease is to replenish dopamine through mm -hmm. medications. In essential tremor, uh, there is no such chemical signal. There are a couple drugs that are really good at treating essential tremor. About 50% of people respond to those drugs. The remaining 50% not as much. So when you first diagnose a patient, and you decide what kind of treatment they're on. Are there several different paths depending on their age, their gender, or is it kind of the same thing regardless? Absolutely. This is, this is again very important that the age and stage of the disease both need to be taken into account when devising a treatment plan mm -hmm. for a patient. It needs to be really customized to the individual who, is, who comes into the office for treatment. There are certain drugs in Parkinson's disease that can have side effects in older individuals. So we try to avoid those drugs. And then we choose drugs that have okay. a better side effect profile. Yeah. Does this 
tend to happen either essential tremors or Parkinson's more to women or men? In Parkinson's disease, it happens 1.5 times more in men than in women. In essential tremor, it's pretty much similar between the two genders. Okay. Yeah. And is there anything to do with age? It, does this strike at particular, you know, times during a person's life? With Parkinson's disease, now we know beyond a doubt, aging is a risk factor. So over 60 years of age, the risk of developing Parkinson's disease really increases exponentially. Mm. With essential tremor, we now believe that it can happen either early on or much later in life, and it entirely de depends on how long you've had the tremor. The severity of the tremor depends on how long you've had it for. Got but it. truly, anybody can develop essential tremor at any time. All right, so are, are there breakthroughs to look forward to? Is the research moving quickly? Significantly. I'm really happy to say that up until a few years ago, the treatment of Parkinson's disease and research was focused only on replenishing dopamine. Now, the new, in the new era of research, the treatment is focused on actually going deeper and determining what is the cause and spread of Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. So all the, all the new research trials are geared towards slowing down the progression or stopping the progression of Parkinson's disease. And an essential tremor after a long hiatus, we now are researching other drugs that can be even more effective than the drugs we currently have. That's good, very good. Thank yeah. you so much for helping us out with this. For more information about treatments for Parkinson's and essential tremors and other medical services at Swedish, please visit the website on your screen. Very simple, swedish.org.